Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to be painting two scarlet accords and as you can see I've already got the background blacked out there and I'm just starting to apply the first layer of yellow. Um, I'll be using that as an underpainting. Obviously these are scarlet macaws, not yellow macaws, so we're going to be applying some red over that yellow. Now the reason why I'm applying the yellow first is to give the reds more pop and to make them more sort of fiery looking. The trouble is sometimes when you're using just red paint on its own and you apply it lightly, because it's going over white paper it can give it more of a pinkish sort of tint. But if you apply a yellow underpainting first and then you go over with the red, obviously you've lost the white of the paper and the red sits really nicely on top of the yellow and gives this lovely sort of fiery um, vibrant red colour. It's actually quite a nice technique to use for um, painting trees as well. You know, painting them with a yellow background or a yellow underpainting and then going over the top with green washes, sometimes leaving a little bit of yellow showing for highlights. You know, it can make the greens pop really nicely. Uh, also brown as well will sit very nicely on top of yellow. There's lots of com colour combinations like that that you can use. Um, you know, instead of just relying on the white paper um, to put your washes on top of. Obviously, you know, it really helps um, if you're using nice quality watercolours. These are particularly bright and vibrant colours actually. They are um, by Lidoga. I've done a review of them a while back. They're by the St. Petersburg Paint Company. Same people that make the White Knights paints. Um, I was sent a set of Lidoga paints to review. Um, like I say a while back. I'll leave a link to the to the review video in the description below if you're interested. But I was really really impressed with them and the quality to price ratio is second to none with these paints and they really are lovely you know very vibrant bright uh, wonderful paints to use. They wet up really easily as well. I'm, <laughs> I'm practically doing another review for you now aren't I? So. But anyway just a you know, quick brief a description about the paints you know they are very very nice quality paints and ideally suited to this type of painting where you're looking for really nice bright sort of vibrant colors I was actually sent these paints by a company called Crafty Studio I'll leave a link to their website in the description below as well um, because they're great people to deal with they ship out quickly they pack really well and they've got a really good range of the White Knights Sonnet and L Ladoga paints Sonnet brushes as well, which I'm using here in this painting. Um, they're all there on that website, really good prices. Like I say, great people to deal with. So again, I'll leave a, a link to their website uh, in the description below. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I don't get paid for doing this. Um, you know, they just very kindly sent me a few sets of paints uh, to try out. And I placed a few orders with them in the past and I was just really impressed with the service I got. So I thought I'd give them another shout out again. Okay, so back to the painting, you can kind of see there, look, now the red layers are going on. There's no kind of pinkish hue there or anything, it's more of an orange tint, which is a lot more natural um, to these birds, you know, the scarlet macaws really are a nice sort of bright fiery red colour. Um, and by glazing over the yellow with the red, you know, it's really sort of bringing out that effect nicely. Now the paper that I'm using today is David Rowney Langton Prestige. It's £140 in weight and it's a cold pressed paper and again I really love this paper. People often say to me, you know, why don't you use arches? Well, I do. <laughs> I do use arches. I've got some arches here um, and I do occasionally use it but I just prefer this paper. It just seems to suit my style better. I guess it's more of a forgiving paper which is saying something because arches is you know, quite a forgiving paper. But I think this one it's probably more forgiving and I just like the way the watercolour you know reacts with the paper um, you know we're all different we all have our own different tastes and styles um, you know nothing wrong with arches at all it's just that I just generally prefer this paper that's all so can you see now in the painting you know what we were talking about earlier about glazing um, these red colours over the yellow even though I'm applying multiple layers of red there I've still not lost that sort of fiery orange sort of underglow there to the red colour 
and that's all because of that yellow underpainting. Um, it's a really good technique to use. Um, I know a lot of people like to put the paint down in one layer and leave it, you know, to get that luminosity. That's fine. Um, you know, there's there's lots of different ways of applying watercolour, uh, but the the method I prefer the most is most certainly glazing and layering. Um, it's something I often do, and you don't just have to glaze um, over different colours. You can just tint very slightly tint I mean essentially that's what a glaze really is just a very slight tint to adjust a color or a tone um, where in this as in this case you know I'm really kind of changing the color from yellow to red and it, it works with lots of different types of colors but I often find you get much more realistic um, you know a much more realistic appearance should I say in your work um, you know when you go at it slowly and you build these layers up um, you know, using glazes, particularly over you know different coloured underpaintings. Now, as usual, the full real-time tutorial to this painting um, will be over on my Patreon channel, and I'll leave links in the description below and in the on-screen cards as well. And it only costs three pound fifty a month to join. That's all it is, just three pound fifty, and you'll get access to. Oh, I think we're getting close to 800 videos if we've not gone over that mark by now. Um, there's somewhere between seven, 800 videos there. Um, all art lessons, all art related material. There's a few vlogs and things like that. Um, product reviews, book reviews, all sorts of good stuff over there. And tons and tons of drawing and painting projects for you. Um, which cover all levels. We've got a beginner's section there. Um, all the way up to you know the more advanced so I'm sure you'll find something there um, that you'll enjoy and you're not committed to anything you can pull out at any time you like so you're not pressured into anything at all you know if you don't like it there you could just leave a lot of people stay <laughs> I'll warn you now a lot of people join up I mean I've had people with me um, for f over four years I think it's four years now I've been on Patreon uh, still got a lot of the original people with me that joined four years ago, so they're loving it over there. So um, hopefully, you know, if you check it out, um, you'll enjoy it too. And we've got a great community of people there as well, really supportive. And you can post your own artwork there on the community uh, and get comments from me and the other members um, on your artwork as well. Okay, so just peeling the tape off now and we'll see what we're left with with the finished painting there. I love this moment, <laughs> it's really nice just to peel that tape off and see that nice white border and uh, you get a really nice idea of what the painting looks like. So there we go, there's the finished painting, hope you like that, thanks very much for viewing everyone, take care and I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.